expect what's coming in for you. Something new is coming in for you. God said, behold. That means look. Pay attention. God said, behold. Behold what? He said, I'm going to do a new thing. He said, it's going to spring forth quickly. God said, I'm going to do a new thing. He said, look for it. Expect it. Go through life expecting good things to happen to you. Go through life expecting great things to happen for you. You don't go through life expecting to be let down. You don't go through life expecting to be blocked. God didn't give you that mentality. No, you are a soldier in the army of God. You are a winner. You are an overcomer. God said, look. He said, I'm getting ready to do a new thing in your life. He said, this thing going to come about quickly. It's going to come about speedily. And God is going to do a new thing by creating a new pathway for you. You know those old roads that you used to walk on, those old paths that you used to travel? God said, I'm putting you on a new path. God said, I'm going to put you on a new road. And on this path and on this road, you're going to have so many new opportunities. You're going to have so many open doors. You are getting ready literally to walk a path with new new opportunities, new experiences, new people. This is what God is going to do. What the world says can be done. This is what I love about God. I love so many things about God. I love God so much and I love his people. I thank God for giving me a heart for God. And I'm so eternally grateful for God giving me a compassion for his people. When the world says no, God says yes. When the world says this is impossible, God said, watch me do the possible with the impossible. God loves to do that. Every no that you have, don't you know God is going to turn that into something absolutely amazing? You want a new opportunity? Those old doors had to close. Those old windows, they had to close. God had to block you for some things because you would never get a new opportunity. God, God is going to close every door in your life that's not beneficial. Every door that you couldn't go in, it's a reason why God didn't allow you to go in it. It's a reason why God blocked you. He didn't block you to hurt you. He didn't block you so you can be offended. That's not why God blocked us. It's not why God shut doors. He shuts doors because that's the wrong one. He, he, he guides us off one path and he places us on another one because that's the right path. See, we have to learn when we go through things in life that are not good, that are painful and traumatic for us, that we can't look at God like people treated us. One of the most dangerous things in the world is to perceive God as the person who hurt you. Don't ever look at God as that person who let you down, who you gave all your trust to and your heart to, and they took it and they stomped on it a thousand times and they broke your promises, they broke a vow to you. God didn't do that to you. God didn't lie to you. He didn't hurt you. God has his ways of doing things, but everything that God, God does for his children is for our benefit. God said, I'm doing something new. Something new is coming in for you. He said, look for it, expect it. You got to go through life expecting good things. You got to go through life looking for a good day. You can't go through life thinking that you're going to have a bad day because you're going to have one. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. If you go through your life thinking that all things that aren't going to work out for you, they're not going to work out for you. If you go through life thinking positive, positive things are going to happen. God didn't lie to us when he said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your life will be be however you think so you got to transform the word the mind that you have to the word of god you, you have to you want your life to change you got to change the way you think so all these limiting beliefs that we've been taught you got to wash that out you got to delete all that stuff and you got to pick up god word and you got to literally brainwash your mind with the word of god you have to but see god is getting you prepared for something new He's getting you prepared for something better, something greater. When you when you are so conditioned to not having, when God begins to bless you, it's going to feel uncomfortable. But God is getting you adjusted to the life he created you to live. 
It's just like when you've been in a bad relationship and God bless you with a person that's going to love you. And you you're going to be so suspicious of it. And you're going to be like, wait, why, why are you being so nice to me? What, what's going on? God is showing you what he created you to have and how he wanted people to treat you. God is going to love you through somebody. God has good people in this world. So let God put you on the path that he's going to be glorified in. It's a new day for you. Old things are passed away and God said all things have become new. God said I'm making things new for you. You think about the old things. God said those old things have passed away. He said now I'm going to make things new for you. I'm going to do exactly what people say can be done. And I'm going to do it through you. God said, I'm going to do it to you, and I'm going to do it through you, and I'm going to do it with you. This is the kind of God we serve. God said, I'm able. God said, I don't know what you're talking about. God said, I'm able. God said, I'm able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ever ask or think, according to the power that worked down on the inside of you. You better get ready, family, to go through that big old door God has for you. You all better get ready. You better transform your mind. You better recondition your mind for what God is getting ready to give you. Because what God is getting ready to give you, this is going to last you. And he don't want you to be blessed and then you lose it. Be grateful for where you are. You may not be where you want to be, but just be grateful for where you are. Because God is going to do something absolutely amazing in your life. I'm telling you, he's going to do the impossible. He's going to do what the world say can't be done. He's going to do what people say will never be able to be done. And he's going to do it through you. Because you're going to give somebody a reason to hope. You are. You're going to give somebody a reason to keep hoping, to keep praying, to keep trusting, and to keep believing. That's a fact. And when these great things come in for you, I want you to give me your testimony. Whatever you need to know about Prophetess Nikki is in the description box of the videos. Those who, who want me to come and render a service. You got to send that invitation with all that information, the email address, the location, the venue. You got to send me that paper, that invitation, that invite. You got to send that to my email at prophetisnickymccray at gmail.com. Don't send anything else. Don't just send a, don't just reach out and say, Prophetess Nikki, I want you to come over here and render a service. You got to send the whole thing so that we can view that and give us seven to ten days so that we can look over the calendar to see if I can come in and render a service for you. Would love to. Thank you for supporting the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. If you haven't received that book, go get it. Go get it in ebook and paperback format. You can get it on any online platform, Amazon. Go to Amazon and get that book. Support our products here on YouTube. Support our products, our journal, our pen, our candles, benevolence candles on Instagram. Give us your support over there at Nikki G. McCray. God said, I'm doing something new for you. Something new. And God said, you're not going to expect me to do this. Because I'm going to do what you feel like can't be done too. What you think couldn't be done, God said, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to use you to do it. Because God is going to teach you to be positive. He's going to teach you to trust him. This is why when we get in tight spots and God comes through for us, that should help us to trust God more than next time. When you keep getting in trouble and getting out or when God blesses you and comes through for you and give you that great testimony, the next battle that you go through with family, it should be easier to trust God the next time. Every time God comes through for us, the next battle that we go through with, we should go through that battle a little bit different. Don't go through anything panicking in life. Don't panic. That means you're anxious and you're fretting, you're worrying. Why worry and you're praying? If you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're worrying, stop praying. You don't know who your father is. Look who your father is. He's the creator of everything. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. Keep speaking life over your life. God will resuscitate whatever is dead in your life. He got the power to do it. Now you have that kingdom power and authority because he created you and his likeness and his image. We'll talk later, family. I love all of you. Go and have a good day. Bye-bye.